Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one to start the timer. Bing. Let's go. TNT. I'm here. If you could mix two ingredients together that are edible to make the world's most disgusting smoothie, <laughs> what would you mix together? This is like a me topic right here. <laughs> this is like... Uh, what? Make the most disgusting. Yeah, what two smoothie. things could you mix together to make the most disgusting? Oh my god! Let's god. let's stick with foods because technically, like animal liver is yeah. is is a. Yeah, I don't want to get like the third grade lunchroom table here. Yeah. Um. Well, I hate corn. I've come to that <laughs> conclusion that I hate corn. Oh god! Not a fan of corn. Um. Corn in a smoothie. That just that out alone, you win. Corn in a smoothie sounds gross. Yeah, I, I don't know what else. I, what other foods I don't like. I don't but what would be disgusting with corn? Ham, maybe ham and corn. Ham and corn smoothie. It's so funny because oh. I, I'm not. It's not like I hate pork because like bacon's all right. No, no, I'm not like a bacon. I'm a fanatic. bacon guy. Yeah, but like I never. I don't know why people think bacon is so good. It's, it just tastes good, man. Dude, but it's got like all that fat meat on it, and I oh. do. Uh, uh, but see, but uh, okay, I'll agree. Some bacon has a ton of fat. Other bacon is cut has a lot has a lot. If you get the thick cut bacon, a lot of times it has uh, less fat and more uh, actual meat. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, then, I love. Me and then bacon. I think about like bacon jerky, which sounds like oh, it'd be amazing, so good, dude. But then you get like all that fat residue, and I'm sitting there like oh, peeling off so good. bacon fat off of my jerky, and I don't want to do that. Okay, I gotta I gotta think. Technically, a what? bag of bacon bits is just bacon jerky chopped up. So what are you what are you trying to say? You can eat bacon bits like bacon jerky, same thing. Are you telling me to go just eat a bag of bacon bits? Yeah, it is what you do. I'm not eating a bag of bacon bits. <laughs> is that well, what you bits. is that how you get now? No, you put bacon bits on things. I don't just like eat the bag of bacon bits straight to the is face. That, uh, <laughs> no, but I'll put it on. I'll make like I'll make like a bacon and cheese roll up, put some like bacon and cheese on a tortilla, heat it up, okay, roll it up. Yeah, okay. like, I'll, I'm not mad at I'll it. I'll do that. I, I mean, want like, you to yeah. live your truth though. No, Tell but, uh, me no, if you, it's, but it's funny. If you take a handful of bacon bits and just pour it down the hatch, you No, can I mean if I'm making a bacon bits and cheese roll up. I might okay, pull a little okay. bit of my hand and eat them. Let's you know what keep I mean? it a buck here. Yeah, no, but I, I get have you ever boofed a bacon bit? What does that even mean? Don't worry about it. That's not <laughs> I, for, that, I mean, that joke's not if, for if you. That means putting it in my anus. I'm not going to say yes because I don't know. I don't know what boofing is. <laughs> That's what boofing. Is. Yeah, yeah. How did I know it had to do with buttholes? What are you talking about? But uh, no, but like, but yeah, dude, like. Bacon is good. Ugh, it's all right. It's not my favorite. Well, I mean, though. that's fine, you know. But I get it. It is fatty. Like yeah. a lot of people are against the fatty portions of like. Yeah, I, th I think it comes from like having like a pork chop as a kid and like biting into like. I'm gonna. I'm not. <laughs> I can't even take it. I can't even say it because I start thinking about it. My tongue gets all gross. You know what I think would be a really gross smoothie for me? Ugh. Celery and grapefruit. What's wrong with celery? I mean, mix those together and drink them. Take like a whole grapefruit and celery, mix them together and just drink them. I feel like I've done that before. <laughs> Not like just together, but I used to mix like, uh, I used to make like smoothies with like kale and Oh yeah, that's true, and... I guess. Like I don't, I like celery, but it has a weird taste. Mixed with stuff, it would taste weird. But you know, dude, like if, I guess with me, because I don't really like grapefruit or grapefruit. If I took like grapefruit base and then put something like chocolate in it <laughs> like i yeah, feel like yeah. that, that would, would be really but oh dude nesquik in grapefruit juice oh dude you should be shot just for messing with nestle uh um oh, so do yeah. you not do you not is there any food that you like you don't eat you don't f with a lot i mean i don't eat grapefruit it's funny you don't like grapefruit at all what me is that yeah, yeah no i mean like i can eat a piece of grapefruit but like will i ever know i don't really like uh I pretty much like all fruits except grapefruits. I'm not huge on fresh cherries, but I uh, but I do like frozen cherries, which is weird. Um, I like them both. And kiwis I'm not crazy about, but I will eat oh, them. Oh, I love a kiwi. But yeah, basically almost any fruit I'm in. But most vegetables I'm not down with. Most and, and, vegetables? And it's just because... I don't know how to cook them right, and they and they taste they don't taste great without oh, being cooked. Bro, up. you just steam them up, man. Steam them up. Yeah, it's weird. I'm weird about consistency. I love that. You know what? I've really come to come to terms with vegetables, man. Like, just broccoli is amazing. Cauliflower is amazing. I, I couldn't even think of an, a, a vegetable like asparagus. I love. Yeah, I can't think. Asparagus of Asparagus is pretty good. 
I like if, like I like asparagus, but I like like bacon in the oven so it gets kind of crispy. Like you kind of like mm-hmm. I don't like the big fatty. You know, like sometimes you go and you get the big fatty asparaguses, and sometimes you go and they're like they're called the baby ones and they're real thin. Oh yeah, the thin ones I like because I can put them in the oven and they get like crunchy. Nah, like that, that's I like good. The fat boys. Oh, with all the gr- gr- like the yeah. you bite in it pops in your mouth. Yes, <laughs> yes. I will cut them up and eat them, dude. Dip a little, put a little salt on them. <laughs> Little, I don't know. They are good. Yeah, they're. Good. I don't know. I've, I've, I have definitely an affinity for for bitter flavors. So, like when yeah. you say grapefruit, uh, it's probably like one of my favorite. Pro- it is my favorite citrus, if not lemon. Yeah, yeah. Like, oranges are actually like my least favorite. And it's funny because we we drink a lot of seltzers waters and i always buy all the berry ones and you buy all the citrus ones yeah, i do have a bunch of i'm like black ones. cherry strawberry whatever and you're i get like, lemon orange and lime yeah. you're not even wrong there yeah, that's dude. crazy I yeah, it works out well it. though because i'm like here here's a couple berry ones and you're like here's a couple citrus <laughs> ones and i'm like good i don't need a whole 12 pack but one or two every so often is nice but i do really like sprite you know sprites yeah. i like uh, you know sort of soda or whatever pop but uh, i don't really like orange pop though or like i really don't like fruit flavored sodas Strawberry, yeah, that that like you big get red. strawberry and black cherry, dude. That, those big, are fruit. No, but I mean like actual pop, like like Fanta and oh, stuff okay. like that. Like I don't like orange pop, grape pop, pineapple pop, big red or not big red, Cherokee red is that, my favorite. That's I haven't had it in forever. We agree I, on that, but like that, yes, Cherokee yes. red is the bomb. Cherokee red and like very very close is like uh, AMW vanilla cream soda. Is I'm not right even huge on there. cream sodas, <laughs> but but like Cherokee red, and I doubt it's even called that because it's very racist. That's a big old Indian on the front of it called uh, Cherokee red, and, yeah, and they yeah, don't yeah. have it in Texas. So it was only like in the north, so yeah. I don't know if they even. But you know what? I also don't see pops down here like squirt. In 50-50. And they're all the same Surge. Company. I haven't seen Surge. Now. Yeah, like all that is, like some of those are all the same company. So, And I don't know, maybe it's just a northern thing. But yeah, Cherokee Red was really good. Because it's weird because all other Red Pops, I hated. But Cherokee Red was like Jesus's juice. That's, that's amazing, man. It, it is. is. It's one of the best. If you never had it, you from you from the South, never had it, try to F- find it. Yeah, I don't even. It might have been discontinued. You can probably know. get it off of Amazon. You can get anything. <laughs> yeah, off of that's true. But yeah, like all those, like they they. Uh, I don't know, like grape pop. Like in my when I was a kid, my grandma always had Fago, so she would have peach, orange, grape. You know, because it was cheap pop for the grandkids and the, all the cousins and everything. Fago and. uh and yeah, like I just yeah, like the older I got, I was like, man, get get this get this fruit flavored pop out my face, <laughs> dude. Like, I don't know, maybe my, my parents were definitely elitist. Uh, my mother was a big RC drinker. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. But this is yeah. back before. Everybody... Oh, damn! She went with the RC brand even back in the day. She's like, no, RC is the best. Yeah, but this is like back before uh, soda was even considered bad for you. Oh, right. Whenever so, it was, yeah. Yeah, this is back when you could smoke in the restaurant, you know? Oh, dude, that was a nice day. <laughs> so she would she would smoke her cigarettes and drink RC. And honestly, I don't like regular flavored soda. Like, I prefer... Like just cola? Yeah, if it comes to cola, I prefer diet to the regular. Oh, th- well, I only drink diet soda anymore. Yeah, ever. but like, I haven't had like a real soda, like a Coke. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. With all the sugar in it, dude. dude. That's, and that's why I couldn't even try Cherokee Red today. It's solid sugar. It, it's all sugar, yeah. And when I was married, uh, my stepkids, they'd always want to try, like, the brand new Mountain Dew. You know, Mountain Dew has a million oh, flavors. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and they'd be like, Dew. like, hey, dude, hey, Jonas, try this. And I'd be like, all right. And I would, like, take, like, a half a sip, and I'd be like, gee. Like, oh my god, how the hell are you even drinking that thing? <laughs> and they're just like, it's so good, dude! Oh, Mountain Dew, bro! Liquid crack. Like, liquid crack. I'm like, dude, that <clears throat> is... Oh. Hey, but I'm not gonna front, man. Baja Red or Baja Blast is pretty good. Yeah, Cold they, Red, pretty good. They, uh, they actually had some new Mountain Dews that were sugar-free that I almost bought. It was like Mountain Dew Zero, but it was like raspberry lemonade or something, and it was like sugar-free. Oh, and I was like, oh, that amazing. might be like, I don't want to buy a whole 12-pack of that. I want like a 20-ounce at most to try uh, it. No, they need you to drink enough where you want to get more of it. Yeah, but Mountain Dew Zero that had come out, like Diet Mountain Dew was always like the worst diet pop. It, it, it tasted kind of like Mountain Dew, but not really. I'll Mountain Dew that. Zero is a little better but not it still doesn't no they do have a diet baja blast too hmm. yeah my, uh, i think taco bell actually has it diet baja blast and it, i think i got it once and i was like that tastes like ass yo. <laughs> i'm not going to taco bell just to get some diet no baja yeah blast, so. they brought the mexican pizza back by the way no, no, did no. you ever do that yeah. my mom was a mexican pizza junkie like that's all she would get from taco bell 
See, I don't know what my parents used to eat for fast food. I don't think my mother really cared for fast food or my dad really either. I guess nice. like White Castle. Was, oh, dude. Was Who thing. doesn't like White Castle? But you grew lots, up in Cleveland, so people. they were close. Yeah, so they were close. Dude, if there, were, I swear to God, if there was a White Castle in Austin and we were like within 10 minutes of it, I, it would be a problem. That place is so good, problem. dude. Like, I'd be like, yo, let's go get a Crave case, dude. 30 burgers. 30 little onion burgers. Yeah, dude. It's just going to make your whole bathroom smell like oh, you onion are, ass. Wait, this is over, but this is blasphemy. So I, when I was up at my mom's like in, around Christmas, her boyfriend was like, hey, we usually pick up some White Castle sometimes or whatever. And I was like, oh, I haven't had White Castle in forever. Awesome. Let's get some White Castle. So, you know, White Castle comes plain with cheese, pickles, and onions. Yeah, gross. So... Why did this mofo order a 30 pack to get ketchup and mustard on him, too? And I was like, blasphemy. You put ketchup and mustard on White Castle? You can order them from White Castle with ketchup and mustard on them already. And I was like, you ruined all 30 of those. You ruined all 30 of those. And I I mean, I ate them. I didn't complain because they were free. But I was like, what the? You don't put any condiments on White Castle burgers. You don't put any. That is blasphemy. Yeah, dude. That's messed up. Yeah. Like, like, he he, could have put mayo on there. I would have been just as. Well, you could have done it at home. Too. Yeah. Anyways, get your own mustard and ketchup. Yeah. Get the I, French I like, out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Why do right? people keep mustard? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, so that's gross. all time we have for this episode. Please make sure to go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.